Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking every single Lil Uzi Vert album. Uh, we're doing all his um, projects on streaming services, so we have nine here. And before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys to please consider subscribing. Uh, I'm trying to hit 300. But anyways, just starting off here, at number nine, I have Pluto x Baby Pluto, uh, the collab album with Future, obviously. And it just feels rushed and unfinished. Like, there's some decent songs, but overall, it's just kind of a boring album. And you expect more from Future and Uzi collab, but you don't really get that. Um, and at number eight, I have the Red and White EP. Um, there's some fun songs on here, and Uzi's energy is pretty great, but I don't know. It, it's just nothing special. Like, during the summer of 2022, I definitely bumped a lot of these songs, but I haven't really came back to it that much since. And at number seven, I have uh, Pink Tape, which is obviously his most recent album. And I think it was overhated, but it still isn't great per se. There's some pretty bad songs on here, like CS is pretty bad. You can tell he's just kind of trying to have fun. He's just kind of doing everything on this album, but it's not all great. Um, but there are some really good songs on here. The biggest critique for me that brings it down this low is that I anticipated this album so much and it even released on my birthday and um, I don't know it just kind of came and went for me it didn't really stick in my rotation that much um, and I was really excited for it but yeah just kind of passed along and at number six I have the perfect love tape um, it's a nice little um, mixtape at you know 10 songs there's some of these songs are absolute classics but there's also a couple weaker tracks that kind of brings it down at number five, I have Love is Rage, uh, it's a solid mixtape. Um, there's four songs from this mixtape that are not on streaming services, and I think they would probably bring it up a bit, maybe up to the number four spot, but it's still a solid record. It's his first um, project on streaming services. And at number four, I have Eternal Take. Um, this obviously dropped like right before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, but I think it was way too overhated upon release. It's really good i bumped it right when it came out i still listen to some of the songs and there's 18 songs some of them are kind of like meh but many of these songs are just bangers and at number three i have lil uzi vert vs the world um it's a little solid nine song mixtape and there's no real misses on this to be honest um but you know just a bunch of solid songs at number two, I have Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World 2, uh, so this is released a week after Eternal Take as the Deluxe, um, but it's essentially its, its own album. It's got 14 songs here, and all of them are pretty good. My least favorite is probably No Auto with Lil Dirk, but other than that, they're all pretty good. Um, and yeah, just overall, really solid um, project here. And at number one, I'm sure you guys can tell what it is, we have Love is Rage 2. Um, it's his first studio album and it's his best project. The original album displays 16 songs and there's so many timeless bangers on here. And then you get the deluxe, it's kind of like three forgettable songs and then you get one of his best ever in 20 minutes. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is my Lil Uzi Vert ranking. Obviously, he is gearing up to drop Love Is Rage 3 at some point, we don't know when that'll come, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. But this is my ranking, so um, let me know what you would change about it and um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.